Namaste, welcome to GoGlides. In this video, we are moving on to part two of our disconnected OpenSIP series. If you followed part one, you already have your local mirror registry up and running. Now it's time to actually populate it with OpenSIP release images and operator catalogs. I will walk you through how to use the OC mirror tool to download and mirror both platform and operator images. We will also talk about how to generate the right configuration files, select specific OpenSIP versions, and make sure all required images are included for a smooth offline install. This step is critical if you are planning to deploy OpenSIP in a secure year gap environment. So stick around and follow along step by step. In this part, we'll focus on two key tasks, mirroring OpenSIP release images. This ensures you can run and install and update without reaching out to the internet. I'll show you how to define using a image set configuration as a part of this blog, mirroring operator catalogs, which is also included in this blog. We're going to use Red Hat OpenSIP AI for this, and I'll explain how to find the right catalog sources and channels using the OC mirror list commands and doing all of these on a single bare metal server running KVM. It's acting as my DNS server, proxy, registry, and also hosting the virtual machine for the cluster. If you have access to a reasonably powerful server, you can replicate this entire setup yourself. All right, let's jump right in and start by preparing the OC mirror CLI and setting up our pull secrets. You can download OC mirror using this core command, or you can download that from console.redhat.com as well. So what you need to do is go to OpenSIP from console.redhat.com, navigate to downloads and search for OC mirror. So this is the one actually. Download this OC mirror for your version of RHEL. So if you are using RHEL ad, just download that. Or if you are using RHEL land, download that one. I'm going to use RHEL ad. That's what I'm using right now. Just copy link address, curl, and navigate to your server. Let's do YouTube and then tools. And let's do curl minus LO and then paste that value here. As you can see, this is the latest. It's downloading that. And this is now available here, the star file. I just have to untar it. JDX VF, OC mirror. And this OC mirror is available now here. Let's change the permission to 755 and it's available now. OC mirror. And this is what available right now. Next step is downloading the pull secrets and then also updating that pull secret with local image registry or mirror registry secrets. That part we already completed in part one, but you can confirm that value here. So all of these registry are available as a part of config.json file, including my local registry and redhat.io, redhat.com, openseed.com, and koi.io as well. So these are the location where cluster will download images from. And then we're going to mirror that images to this particular registry.balki.ocp.local, which is already running. So you can also do portman login here. And this is basically doing the same thing, updating this particular file because this is where we're passing that location. Next step, we have to create a image set configuration. So for that, let's create a folder, image set. Inside that, let's create a file, OC mirror in it. This will basically in a slice that. Let's wait for some time. This downloaded the basic image set configurations. So it has a couple of sections here, storage config. Currently, uh, it will basically download all the images in this particular local path. You can also directly upload this one to image registry by updating this storage config to registry and image URL, and then you have to pass that location. The mirror has two sections, one is platform, where it's downloading a stable 4.18 version of OCP clusters, and then all the minimum and maximum version, all the delta version available in that particular section, like 4.18 from this stable channel. And it's also downloading all of these operators. So right now it's just mentioning one operator, serverless operator, all the version of server, serverless operator available in that stable channel from this operator index 4.19. So this 4.19 has certain version, then it will download from that stable channels all the version for the serverless operator. And then you can keep adding more and more packages like that. And there is some additional images as well. So it's downloading this UBI latest image and then exporting in this particular locations. That's what it's saying right now. If you look at this command here, OC mirror list operators dash dash catalogs dash version equal to 4.16. And you are seeing this output as a result of this command. So this is basically called a operator catalog. An operator catalog in OpenSIP is 
essentially a curated collection of operators that are bundled together in a single container image. In this case, folder 16, this is a single container image. It's act like a repository or index that Operator Hub uses to display available operators that can be installed in your cluster. So in this output here, we have Red Hat Operator Index, which is a official Red Hat supported operators. So this is the one which is Red Hat officially supported Red Hat operators. There is a certified operator index, which is operators certified by Red Hat, but maintained by third parties. We have community operator index, which is community contributed operators that are uncertified. And there is a fourth one called Red Hat Marketplace Index, which is commercial operators available via Red Hat Marketplace. So when you mirror operators in a disconnected setup, you are pulling from one of these operators. So in this case, let's say you are using this Red Hat Operator Index, Portal 16, and then you are pulling this package, Red Hat ODS operators. Again, this particular bundle could have multiple Red Hat ODS operators, multiple version of Red Hat ODS operator. As you can okay. see in this output, we have Red Hat ODS operators. There is an alpha channel, which has 2.19.0 version of Red Hat ODS operator. Similarly, if you look at this EUS 2.16, you have Red Hat ODS operator 2.16.2 version of that. This is how it works. And this is what you specify in your image set configuration under mirror operators catalog section. So if you notice, some of the operator I'm downloading it from Red Hat operator index, like ODF operator, LVMS operator, local storage. And some of the operator I'm downloading it from certified operator index, NVIDIA GPU operator. This is what we are downloading from certified operator. This particular operator is not available in this particular bundle. So each catalog contains metadata about operators, like name of the operators, version of the operator, description of the operators, the channel of the operators, like stable, fast, beta, the operator manifest needed for installation. Another thing you can do here is, if you remember this storage config, right now I'm just downloading to local path in this specific section. So in this particular folder, it will download that, right? You can also specify full path. So instead of doing this, we can directly upload to registry as well. So for this, what we can do is, if you look at this configuration in this block, storage config, you can simply say storage config registry and pass the image URL. And this is where our local mirror registry located, which is we created as a part of first video of this series. All right, so let's start cloning the images. I'm going to copy this section, like entire section. And this is what I had before, already cloned. And then add for an 18.9 version of OCP. If you look at my existing query registry, these are the images available at the moment. If you go to the tag, we have only for a 16 version of OCP available in this query registry. This is a disconnected registry.balki.ocp.local. So let's try to add 4.18. Right, so I'm going to create that image set configuration, paste the entire value. And then under this section here, I'll simply copy these channels, duplicate that block, and then I'll call it 4.18. We're going to mirror from a stable. And then I'm going to say, let's do 4.18.9 version. That's the minimum version. And also do 4.18.9 nine as a maximum version as well, so that it will only mirror the images related to that particular version. All right, let's save it. Next part, we just have to run the OC mirror command. So I'm going to type that one, OC mirror. And then config file is image set.yaml. And then another thing we have to do is pass that registry location, registry.balki.ocp.local and then 8443 and then suffix is OCP slash, and simply run this one. It's going to take some time. We're not using V2 version, so for now, I'm still using V1, which is deprecated. V2 version has a little bit more features there, which we can explore later. It's going to take some time. One thing I want to talk about here is this graph through key value pair under mirror platform. Graph data refers to the OpenShift upgrade path, which is used by cluster to determine valid upgrade path between OpenShift versions. So when you include, let's say, graph equal to true in your image set configuration, uh, it tells OC Mirror to do a couple of things. It says, download the upgrade graph metadata associated with 
OpenC version you are mirroring. And second thing it does is mirror the graph data into your local registry so that the disconnected cluster can still understand which upgrades are valid. This is crucial for disconnected cluster because they don't have access to the public OpenSIP update service. Without this graph, the cluster would have no information on what version upgrades are allowed. So that's what we are trying to do here. All right, so it takes some time, but as you can see, it's already started doing the mirroring part here, mirroring to this particular location OpenSIP release, and then you will see another as well, OpenSIP release images. Depending on your bandwidth, it may take a couple of hours to just mirror these images. Make sure you have enough disk space as well. So in my case, I'm cloning everything here, OPT SSD. That's where my query registry store the data. So as you can see, it's already 520 gigabyte, which includes 4.16 version of OCP and all the operator, which is mentioned in that YAML spec. And this will also increase with this 4.18 version of OCP. So I'm just cloning one mirror only for now. So if you keep watching, this will keep growing after some times. It just increased to 500, 521 gigabyte. So it's still doing that operation, as you can see. All right, so it looks like mirror is almost complete now. It says mirror completed in 21 minute, 24 second. And if you go to query registry, here, click on OpenSIP release. That's where it's going to upload. And we can see 4.18, let me search that. Yeah, you can see all of these images are uploaded just a minute ago, which is available. There is coordinates, Maltas here, Prometheus, Qproxy, all of these images are 4.18.9. Another thing we can do is the release images here, so as for that, and as you can see, 4.18 is there and 4.17 is also there. So if you notice this configuration, it has graph equal to true, right? This graph equal to true, meaning I have for a 16 version of OCB right now. And then if you have to go from for a 16 to for a 18, then it require a intermediate for a 17 version as well. And that's the reason it's mirror all the images of for a 17.25 as well, which is required as an intermediate layer. You cannot jump from for a 16 to for a 18. And that's the reason we started seeing that images also mirror in this local registry, which is pretty nice. So I'm reading a documentation which says when graph true is enabled, OC mirror just doesn't look at the version you list. It also pulls in any intermediate version that are required for upgrade path between them. Based on the upgrade graph data published by OpenSIP. In this case, OpenSIP assumes you might want to upgrade from 416 to 418 at some point. And the upgrade path may flow through 417, 416 to 417 to 418. Therefore, to maintain a valid and functional upgrade graph, OC mirror automatically mirrors all releases from 416, 36, 42, 416, 38 explicitly. That's what we mentioned. And 418.9 explicit. And 417.x version, in this case 25, 417.25 version, that form the intermediate steps between 416 and 418, which is implicit. So if you want to avoid these, then set this value to false. That way it will avoid this mirroring part entirely for intermediate layer. All right, so apart from that, we have also mirror all of these additional images as well, right? So you can technically search those here, Kikit. And if you go to DAX, you can see this specific version ADA894 is mirror here. Okay. So this is also available, which is mirror a day ago, but they should basically check it right now and then mirror that one as well. All right. So our mirror is complete now and this result is published here. So inside this OC mirror workspace, we have these results folders created and these are all the files created as a part of that. You can see like a release signature, there's image content source policies, and then certified operator and Red Hat operator index. So these two, we have to deploy that. When you create the OpenSIP clusters, then this is how it clone or deploy the operators. So here, if you notice the coe.io OpenSIP release date, OCP release is pointed to this value, registry bulky OCP local in this particular location, release images. And then we have OCP 40.rdep, which is pointed to this location of OpenSIP release, right? And then if you look at this catalog source, this is how it finds it, right? So you have to deploy these three resources. Catalog source, Red Hat Operator Index is 
point it to our local registry. And if you look at another one, which is a community certified one, right? So if you look at that values, then it has certified operator index. This is already mirrored in our local registry as well. So once the cluster is up and running, we'll revisit these sections and deploy catalog sources and then image content source policies to clone or mirror from our registry later. And that's wrap up this part of the disconnected OpenShift setup. In this video, we successfully mirror OpenShift release images and operator catalog into our local query registry. This is a critical step in preparing an year gap environment, ensuring that everything from the core platform to operators can be installed without internet access. If you followed along, your mirror registry should now contain everything needed to deploy OpenShift and install operators offline. In the next part, we'll focus on configuring the proxy server and preparing the environment to simulate a full year gap setup. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, make sure to check out the next video in the series and don't forget to subscribe and share. See you in the next one. Dhaniwa.